Welcome to another Moog demo library. Today we're going to look at the utilities in Mavis's patch bay. If we patch the LFO to, say, the volt per octave input on the VCO, the VCO will move in a very broad range. We can dial it back using the attenuator. We'll take the LFO and patch it to the attenuator input and patch the attenuator output to the volt per octave input. Now, when we dial back the attenuator, we'll reduce the effect of the LFO. The attenuator is therefore basically a volume knob. The attenuator input is normal to positive 5 volts, so without anything patched to the input, we can use the attenuator knob as a floating 5 volt offset. Next, we'll look at Mavis's MULT. The MULT is a submodule used to route any signal to multiple destinations. Let's take the sample and hold output, which right now is giving us random voltages in time with the LFO, and patch it to the MULT input. Now we have two copies of the sample and hold output available, one at MULT output 1 and the other at MULT output 2. We can patch one of these, to the volt per octave input, and we can patch the other to the LFO rate input, moving both the LFO rate and the pitch with random voltages. Finally, let's look at Mavis's mixer. Mavis's mixer has two inputs, one and two. These are added together and available at the output one plus two. We can use the mixer to mix audio signals or control signals. The signal patched to the one input has a one level knob, which is a level knob for that channel. The signal patched to the two input comes in at full strength. The one input is normalized to negative five volts, so you can use the one level input as a negative five volt to zero volt offset. The one level has its own output, so you can use the one as its own attenuator. By patching just the one output to, say, the cutoff knob, we have a knob that moves from negative 5 volts to zero. And by patching a signal into the one input, say the VCO, we can use the one level as its own attenuator. We can take the one plus two mix output instead and patch a signal, say the sample and hold output, into the two input. Now we have the sample and hold and VCO mixed together in the mixer and modulating the filter cutoff. And we can roll back the one level. Remember that we have the attenuator available here to use as well to give channel two its own volume knob. By patching the sample and hold to the attenuator input, and the attenuator output to mixer 2 input. Now we have control of the strength of channel 1 and channel 2, and can mix the two of them together as we like. Mavis's utilities, the attenuator, the malt, and the mixer, are not directly accessible via Mavis's front panel but are available to give you expanded functionality, both within Mavis itself and with other modular and semi-modular synthesizers.